I made this stand a few months ago and um, just after I'd uh, finished it I was really quite pleased with it um, but recently um, it's turned into a little bit of a death trap it really isn't very stable um, at all it's rocking back and forward um, it's fallen over twice uh, recently so I quite like to make um, a new stand um, that has a few improvements. So firstly I want to make it a lot more stable so rather than it being a rectangle I'm going to make it a square uh, and I also want to make it the same height um, as my table saw so it can be used as an outfit table but also I'd like to encompass a flip top um, so I could have um, a machine bolted uh, on one side but then when I need it as the outfit table I can flip it over um, and then it'll just be a flat space so I guess let's just um, do a very quick plan and then we can get started I've worked out that I need to cut these legs down to 85.5 centimeters that is because the table saw is 90 centimeters high uh, but of course I need to account for the uh, height of the casters um, so I reckon I'll just go and cut those on the mitre saw now Now I just need to cut some braces uh, for these and cut some half uh, lap joints so that the braces sit nicely into those. And I'm going to do all that on the table saw. Now I've just got a few more of these to cut the exact same way uh, but I'm not going to show them because there's going to be quite a lot of footage uh, of that. If you don't have a table saw uh, you can definitely uh, cut that using either a mitre saw and a mallet and a chisel or of course you can just cut it with any normal saw uh, and a mallet and a chisel. I'm just doing it this way for speed. So here are two of the half finished frames um, and they are going to be like that, just like that. And then here is this uh, scrap that I found um, and it fits in there. Um, it isn't particularly snug but uh, that is great because that will allow room for that to spin round. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put bolt through there um, so that will be able to rotate on there. Um, but I won't be doing that for a while yet uh, because I need to get these two frames uh, attached together and to do, to do that I'm going to be using more bracing um, to go um, again around the sides to make it quite a firm structure. So I've got some more cutting to do. I'll cut the next few um, joints that will fit this brace. Um, just by hand um, because I don't really want to use the table saw and partly because we've got some nice birds that are coming to the bird feeder that I don't want to scare away
as you can probably tell if I put a spirit level onto this, the bubble is way off when the camera focuses. So anyway, the bubble is way off because it's really quite wonky. Um, I think it's probably because when I cut these half lap joints, um, I measured from there down to there, but then I just marked across for that other one, and obviously that wasn't cut straight, which means that it is really quite a wonky construction. So it's a, almost two centimeters lower on this side. So I'm gonna get some wee blocks and I'm just gonna screw them to the under frame of that. And when that happens, the spirit level seems to suggest that it is much um, more level. So I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'll just screw those onto the bottom. I'd say it is more than strong enough um, to do what I need it to do and to, well, obviously hold my weight. These are all the uh, pieces for the top. Um, these three are, all, are already glued together um, and I've just cut these two um, now off camera. Uh, obviously this one is slightly different. Uh, I was just using up a scrap before I moved on uh, to my next long piece of timber. Uh, and because I don't have any clamps long enough to glue up that, um, I am just going to have to glue them up in some smaller sections. Now what I need to do is drill a hole through the frame and into the top um, so that I can put the bolts through that so the whole thing can spin. Just, uh, just some apologies for the fireworks going on. I've just got to thread this bolt in. Okay, time for a test. So, I just threaded in those, oh man, look at that, that is, seems to work amazingly well. It's a little bit stiff in a couple of spots, like over there, that's banging on there. So as long as I remember just to flip it that, that way around, that should actually work brilliantly okay now we need to come up with a way of getting this to not flip um and i think i might have an idea okay so i've worked out the mechanism um to stop it from spinning around so you might be able to see let's just check yeah so there are there is a piece of osb just there um and there's one at the other side as well that I'll show you in a minute. And those are just held onto the frame by one screw, which means that I can get down on the floor and I can pivot them. So if I stand this thing up, so now if I swivel these out of the way, it can spin nicely back and forth. Obviously, these aren't going to be the strongest, um, but this isn't a chair or anything like that. Um, but I think at some point I might um, buy some more bolts. And what I can do is I can put the bolts through the frame and into there and just um, unscrew them when I want to flip it. Uh, so this is probably just going to be a temporary solution. Um, okay, just a couple more things to add. Um, just one more that I'm going to show in this video, uh, and that is, of course, the wheels. So, my plan for the wheels is to just drill holes straight into the feet uh, and then just twist them into place. I think that's probably going to be the easiest, and it will mean that the wheels will be um, adjustable uh, in terms of height, so I can make some fine adjustments to how level it is.
So there it is. That is the stand how it finished. I know it looks uh, a little bit dull at the moment, um, but I know uh, that in the next couple of days I'm probably going to um, add a couple of uh, things to the side. Um, to the size, uh, such as my clamp rack, which is over there and is a little bit difficult to get to at the moment. Um, and also, um, for Christmas, oh, dare I mention the word Christmas, um, in November, um, I might be getting something that might be able to uh, go on here and then obviously flip away when I am not using it. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. I have certainly uh, enjoyed making this and it is a definite improvement from the uh, past cart. You can see its remains here. Um, and this one does seem uh, a lot more stable and isn't going to fall off, fall over like the other one. So thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have liked the video, uh, it'd be great if you could like um, and even subscribe. Um, as that does uh, mean a lot. Okay, thanks, and I'll see you in my next video. Just very quickly before I go, I forgot to mention um, that if if Design Create Innovate can get to 50 subscribers by um, the start of 2021, um, I am planning to do a bit of a giveaway and a competition. So it would be great if you're not subscribed already just to hit that subscribe button. Um, then we can maybe do the competition at the end of January. <laughs>